So I'm here at Starbucks in Jubilee Hills, lovely coffee shop in the sense that you don't get such a nice space to sit out and enjoy the nature while having some lovely coffee. Uh, a lot of Starbucks in India that I've been to don't have such open space. This is one of those Starbucks which is really spacious. So in that sense, I love this space. It's been a common uh, adda as you call in Hyderabad. And uh, this is where I get to do some work uh, while having some uh, coffee. And that's how I spend most of my weekends besides riding the bikes. I just got the bike from the service center. It's been almost a week since it was there. The primary issue that I had with the bike was there was some handlebar wobble between 80 to 100. Uh, maybe something needs to be checked in terms of the wheel alignment and the handlebar weight management. And that's that was kind of scary, mostly because that's usually the cruising speed uh, when we are relaxing and chilling. And. I didn't want to take a chance. In fact, I had the problem for a while, but it was not so profound. So I postponed it for as long as possible. And after a recent trip to Araku, I noticed that my front tire were, was wearing out uh, unevenly, and that is causing more wobble even at lower speeds. But it was most profound between 80 to 100. Another thing is, it is very hard to diagnose. But I looked up online to see if someone else had uh, similar problems and it could be many reasons why the wobble could happen for once it could be a basic thing as a fork alignment and uh, I had uh, one or two rides where this bike had to go through serious bumps at very high speeds uh, I couldn't avoid them so it was either me or the bike so obviously I chose uh, me and even though as much as I love this bike, I would give my life the preference first. And so, like you see the bumps here, I don't know if you can see them clearly, they are uneven and very high. And sometimes when you're going at high speed and when there are no markings, uh, you don't see them. And the bike takes the majority of the toll. And in that regard, I think this went through a few bumps, so I thought it could be something to do with fork. Or there could be something to do with the wheel element like you have with the cars. And there could be something with the cone here. So this is the handlebar cone. Uh, the bearings in this cone could have been the issue. This is what I found out while I was talking to people in the Triumph group. And so there are so many things that could have gone wrong. But then when I posted in the group, there are quite a few street twins which had that uneven wear. And they had stock handlebars. So I was sure this was not mainly due to the handlebar. It was a combination of reasons. And when I first went to the showroom, uh, the guys were like, yeah, you have to change your tires because they are already they have already done 12,000 kilometers or what. And I was like, what nonsense. I mean, that, that's like putting, yeah, I know the tires have worn out and I need to replace them, but that doesn't cause the wobble. And it doesn't cause the one side wear. And they even had stupid reasons like, my riding style is causing only this uh, one side of the tire to wear out like as if I'm on a racetrack every day in day out and only doing right handers non-stop like I would be going in circles initially to actually identify the problem I was there at the showroom for almost three hours what we did was we first we changed the front tire from a new bike to this one and uh, then also and then change the rear tire too then we realized that we have to change both and the wobble decreased drastically drastically so then uh, but still there was that tiny hint of wobble so i thought once the tires wear out that wobble will still come back again anyway they kept the bike after they saw that i was not happy with their uh, technical views they decided to send it to uh, a guy in Rani Guns to check the fork alignment and also the wheel align handlebar alignment because the service had took it for a decent spin for almost uh, 30 minutes 
and he noticed that the handlebar was pulling to the left a bit so they kept the bike for almost a week and uh, they were short staffed quite a bit the service center is probably as big as probably half of this area and I was so short that it was so small when I first actually got into the Triumph showroom like one and a half year back uh, but they're short staffed there are a lot of bikes in it it was it is it's a cramped space so I was concerned uh, to some extent but then uh, nothing happened in the last 15 months I usually take a video whenever the bike or the car goes to a service but this was not a typical service so I just hand it over to them Yesterday when I went to see the bike, uh, to see how the service uh, was going on and it's been more than it needed to be in the show service center, I noticed a small dent on the tank and the service guys vehemently denied that the handlebar would be taken out in the opposite way, there is no chance this dent could happen but I had a ram mount and while using a wrench or something easily it could have nicked and they're covering, they were covering it up very badly by saying that they have covered it with a cloth yeah right if I cover this with a cloth this is a thicker cloth but if I cover this with a cloth there's no chance that this would break dumb anyways there was a small dent there's nothing I could do there's nothing they could do besides replacing a tank and uh, I was just not happy uh, there is a service manager who offered uh, to decrease my bill uh, and I just felt it was a piecemeal effort. I had to just let it go. But then I decided to actually make people know uh, across the country uh, that buying a premium bike doesn't actually get you premium service. I mean if you go to a BMW or a Mercedes showroom where you spend almost minimum 30 lakhs the service quality that you get is different at least to some extent better than what you get when you're comparing bikes to cars The service center actually feels more like a Royal Enfield service center No offense to Royal Enfield uh, dealerships or the brand In fact my first bike was a classic 500 and I love that uh, But to be honest the service quality that Royal Enfield is offering if Triumph Service Quality is on par with Royal Enfield, then there is something seriously wrong with the brand. In fact, service quality for most of the premium bikes in India is very half-baked. It's not, it's not there. You don't. In fact, when you pay like 10 lakhs for a bike, you expect decent amount of space for your bikes, decent amount of uh, technical knowledge about the bikes. In fact, every time I gave my bike after a service, the headlight was not leveled. Uh, the leveling of headlights is a basic science. There is a certain height it should be there from the wall. It, uh, if you measure the headlight from the wall at a certain distance, it should be at a certain height. That is the basic science of any headlight leveling. And I don't think these guys know anything about it. It's most of the time I adjust it to the view that I get on the highway. And that's like having those minor details, attention to details are missing quite a bit across all service networks, be it Triumph, Harley. Uh, but for now, Triumph has such great bikes. It pains me that their service network is letting them down big time. And uh, not just the ne network, I, when I say network, I mean in terms of how their expertise is, how they're handling it, the execution part, not how many showrooms you have or not how many dealerships you have at how far from your house or your typical location so it's it's a big disappointment they've also suggested that i change the tires in fact the front tire is wearing out quite fast then it should so i will change the tires uh, but i thought i'll just extend it for maybe two three thousand kilometers more because there are not many major rides happening soon and uh, but i have to see for the next 500 kilometers and then take a call because it needs to be changed and I want to shop around other tires too but I'm still not sure if the problem is entirely rectified so that is something only time would tell and if the wobble still persists then the next time I'm just not gonna pay any penny to them in fact if they refuse to service it I'm just gonna leave the bike with them yeah that's the story of my bike and why I'm not happy with the service uh, quality and the service experience of 
not just Triumph but overall super bikes in India. This is not just from my perspective, from other friends who have been uh, exposed to various uh, super bikes like Honda, Yamaha, Benelli. And sometimes actually Benelli guys were doing a better service for those bikes. It's just that their service cost was so high. So that's it guys.